After reading numerous productivity books, we've come across various rules like the two-year rule, the five-minute rule, and the five-second rule, not the one about dropping food. However, these rules are often geared towards companies or entrepreneurs. The challenge is for us to adapt them to our daily habits, thereby significantly reducing procrastination. Today, my friends, I'll share a story highlighting the importance of taking small steps and conquering procrastination. Once upon a time in a tranquil village, there lived a wise and respected Zen master. People from distant places sought his guidance and wisdom. One day, a young disciple approached the master and asked, Master, what are the rules to beat procrastination? The Zen master smiled and replied, Ah, my young disciple, I'm going to share with you two different two-minute rules to overcome procrastination. The disciple eagerly waited for the master to reveal these two secrets. The Zen master began his tale. The first two-minute rule, as shared by the wise Zen master, revolves around promptly completing tasks. The master advises that if a task can be accomplished in two minutes, do it immediately. For instance, if you need to take out the trash and it takes just two minutes, it's better to address it on the spot rather than jotting it down on a to-do list. This approach prevents the task from being forgotten or requiring more than two minutes when revisited later. Consider everyday activities like organizing your desk, watering plants or trimming nails, tasks that take a brief moment. By addressing them as they arise, these small actions accumulate, training your mind to lean towards taking immediate action and steering away from procrastination. The second two-minute rule involves making small changes and forming habits that can lead to remarkable results over time. The Zen master suggests that when faced with a task you don't really want to do, simplify it down to two minutes or less. For example, turning your entire reading assignment into reading just one paragraph or transforming the daunting task of memorizing the entire periodic table into memorizing just 10 flashcards. Now, you might think, this sounds like a Jedi mind trick. Why would I fall for it? How is this at all sustainable? To that, the Zen master advises that when you're starting out, limit yourself to only two minutes. If you want to build a habit of studying for one hour every day before dinner, try this trick, but limit yourself to just two minutes. Sit down, open your book, study for two minutes, and then close your book and do something else. It may seem unproductive or even silly at first, but staying consistent with this two-minute routine day after day means that you are becoming the type of person who studies daily. You are mastering the habit of just showing up because a habit needs to be established before it can be expanded upon. If you can't become a person who studies for just two minutes a day, you'll never be able to become the person who studies for an hour a day. You've got to start somewhere, and starting small is easier. So, the Zen master concluded his story, leaving the young disciple with an understanding of how to overcome procrastination and the importance of taking small steps. If you have gained value from this video, give it a like and share it with your friends. Thanks for watching.